Generative Extend in Premiere Pro Beta allows you to extend both video and audio clips using Generative AI. All you have to do is open up Premiere Pro and then click on the Generative Extend button, click on the edge of your clip, drag away, and then get two extra extended seconds of generated footage. Now here are 10 use cases where it might make sense to use Premiere Pro's new Generative Extend. Number one is to correct eye lines or actions that shift unexpectedly mid-shot. Second case is in music videos, you could use Generative Extend to actually create B-roll out of what would normally be performance shots. You can actually do this by cutting the performance shot right before the artist starts mouthing the lyrics. This will give you a shot with a few seconds of the artist just vibing without talking. And bam, you've solved the situation that I've been in a ton of times when you've shot too many performance shots and you have forgotten to shoot enough B-roll. Third case, you could use Generative Extend to extend reaction shots. In interviews or reaction-based content, the subject's reaction might be a bit too short to fit the edit. With Generative Extend, you can lengthen the reaction shot without needing additional footage, helping maintain the emotional impact. We are a small business, and when it comes to Cyber Monday or Black Friday, we just can't compete with the big guys. So we're kicking things off early with a deal for creatives just like you. Starting today, we've slashed prices off of 20 of our top products. They're all gonna be just $5 all the way up until December 1st. From incredible video effects to two of our top courses, there's something in here that will definitely level up your editing game. So if you're ready to support a small business and level up your edits, then this deal is for you. Just click the link in the description and thanks in advance for your support. Next case for Generative Extend is you could use it to add room tone to fill in audio gaps. If you have an audio cut where maybe your ambient sound just drops off, maybe the mic stopped working, Generative Extend can actually add natural room tone to fill the gap, making your audio edits feel smooth and less noticeable. Next case is maybe your footage got cut off too soon. Maybe you hired an inexperienced DP as a second shooter at a wedding and they stopped recording like midway through the kiss of the bride and groom. You can use Generative Extend to extend that shot by just a few more seconds. Next case for Generative Extend could be extending drone footage. Maybe you had some beautiful drone footage that maybe got cut short due to battery limitations. Or maybe you had a drone pilot that just didn't know how to fly straight. He kept making turns and you only had a few seconds of smooth forward moving shots. Generative Extend can add a few crucial seconds to that existing footage, which would allow you not to have to do a reshoot. Similarly, you could use Generative Extend to extend establishing shots. If say your establishing shot of a big mansion doesn't linger for long enough, maybe your Steadicam operator tripped on a stone midway through the shot, cut the clip back before they tripped and then extend the shot using Generative Extend. Another case could be adding added frames to time-limited action sequences. Maybe you have a fast-paced action sequence that just ends too abruptly. You can use Generative Extend to add just a few extra frames, ensuring motion feels more fluid and complete. Here's another case that's more theoretical. I haven't actually done it yet. You could potentially use Generative Extend to stretch out a crowd shot in maybe a concert. If you're filming a concert or a crowd shot in say a music video, and the crowd just wasn't as big as you would have liked it to have been, you could literally cut the shot early before the crowd ends and then use Generative Extend to continue adding more people. Hey guys, if you video edit, comment below. And if you need a video editor, comment below. Let's make a connection.